Things aren't always as easy as you think. Let's get ourselves to our Minmus mapper. This feels like such a funky burn. Straight down at Minmus. All right, let's go see if we can get ourselves some climbers. Hello, my name is Mike Aben and welcome to my KSP campaign, season one entitled Permanent Presence. In this season, our goal is to establish a Kerbal permanent present in low Kerbin orbit. Now keep in mind, this is also the game in which I have Kerbalism in play. Kerbalism makes me have to think about life support and radiation and all other kinds of nasty things to make things a little bit more challenging. I also have in play an unkerbled start, uh, which started me with much smaller parts, also making it more difficult for me to get Kerbals up into space. And in this episode, I think our main event in this episode is going to be, well, a VTOL rescue, a mountain rescue in fact, and we'll be getting to that in the later half of this episode. Also coming up is, well, some adventures around Minmus. I have a Minmus mapping satellite that I have to launch, and I also have Minmus 1, my first probe to Minmus. Um, it's going to be doing a flyby of Minmus and then heading off towards the sun. That will be coming out coming up shortly as well. But right now, you can see while I'm in the VAB, you might recall a couple of episodes ago um, with my first exposure to using the materials bay, I sadly discovered that the electrici electricity demands on the material bay is not insignificant. I stuck one onto a jet and found out that, uh, yeah, well, two things. Number one, this thing uses, the materials bay uses 2.04 units of electricity per second. And second, it takes an hour for it to collect its sample. And you put that all together, that actually turns into 7,344 units of electricity that it's going to require. And by the way, if you're noticing, this top thing is the materials bay, uh, but it has, this is a radial materials bay uh, provided by the Restock Plus mod. It looks pretty, pretty cool. So, I need to generate electricity, and the puny little Lockstat solar panels only that you see me use most of the time only generate 0.3 units of electricity per second. Clearly that ain't enough. But thankfully I have these Oxstat Extra Larges unlocked, and they do 2.8 units of electricity per second, so two of them, especially, and even when you consider the fact that the sun might not be completely overhead, uh, they should be able to do the job. Now the materials bay is not biome specific, so this thing really actually has only two biomes in which it can collect materials bay. One is going to be landed on the surface and the other is going to be splashed down in the ocean. Those are the two states in which I can do materials based science. So the plan is going to be to drive this off of the launch, launch pad so it's out of the way so I can still do other things and it's going to collect a materials bay and then this is what those separatrons on the side are all about it's going to fire itself off towards the east into the ocean there's a couple of parachutes hopefully I can splash it down nice and safe in the ocean where it'll sit for another hour as it collects its materials bay there so you can see here me giving it its first test drive in simulation mode and as you are witnessing <laughs> things aren't always as easy as you think just hates this grid Went off off of that it cannot just get stuck on there can it really can't get past that little lip. Wow. Okay. I didn't even realize that these. I thought always these little bumps were like textures or something. I didn't even realize it was an actual surface here. Ah, 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 no, I'm over it. No, 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 no. Two wheels are over. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. We're backwards, but that's okay. Okay, break, 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 break. Oh my god, I just fell into a hole. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's re. Okay, let's actually terminate. I did not expect that the biggest challenge of all of this <laughs> would be just driving off the freaking pad. Needless to say, modifications were made, further testing was done, and you'll be seeing this little vehicle in a future episode after it is built. But right now, let's get ourselves to our Minmus mapper. And with this being an identical craft to the one we sent to the moon last episode and we spent oh so much time with it uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time with this one the only difference in the launch is just like when I launched the Minmus 1 a few episodes ago this one is on uh, going into a 6 degree inclined orbit 6 degrees to the north because I also timed the launch so that I was directly under uh, Minmus's equatorial ascending node in relation to Kerbin and then that way our orbits will be synced and then we'll make the transfer out. They'll, the orbits will be in the same plane, let's say it that way. And then our app, uh, the, our transfer out to Minmus will be all that much easier. And before we get any more into this, just a quick reminder that if you are enjoying what you're seeing here, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. But with that all said, why don't we cut towards the top end of this ascent? Alright. Pretty familiar looking mapping satellite. Okay, did... What did I put? I kept the same antenna. That was dumb. That was dumb. I went just with an identical one, but I... Were, oh, I think I should be okay. Should I sit? It should be okay with just the one communitron, but two communitrons would have been better. The signal strength won't be strong, but it should still be there. But for now, best circularize and then set up our Minmus injection. This is Min. This is the Minmus mapper, but Minmus One is just a few hours away from Minmus, so we'll be taking a look at that very shortly. But that's not the same probe as this one. I just want to make sure that's clear. It's a little bit confusing. <laughs> Getting entirely too picky there. All right. So, again, get that whoop, back, 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 back. That should be good for solar exposure. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, um, put it back on prograde. I forgot entirely, this is a mapping satellite. I need to hit the, oh my, I was, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Let's just push, it's okay, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's good, okay. Don't know why, I was doing my, my, uh, insertion. Or the injection burn, that's what I'm... The trans-minmus injection burn, there we go. As if I was going into a low equatorial orbit, but of course I want to go into a high polar orbit. No harm done. All we got to do now is set up our mid-course correction. Shouldn't have to be too big. So there we go. All 1.9 meter per second burn. A day and a half from now and that will get us on our trajectory we like so we'll set up an alarm for that Doo -doo -doo, five minutes warning and I think Val is going to be ready before anything else so let's get back let's get back to the space center and what I want to do is check on see if I got another rescue contract coming up how am I doing for Coast Guard I actually want to go through and start pruning some of these contracts a little bit like this clever sat one it replaces the um, the uh, stock inserting satellites into orbits type of thing which actually I kind of enjoy those and I've not gotten any of them 
But then I'm looking at these, I think there's something that's not right about it because like all of these are about manipulating satellites, like destroy a rogue satellite, investigate malfunctioning satellites. I liked all these ideas, but I'm, I got a feeling that this is preventing my regular stock satellite contracts from popping up. So I might take CleverSat out of the mix. A lot of these mods are, a lot of these contract packs actually are kind of old and building, built for older versions of Kerbal Space Program. So some of them might just be broken. Um, the other one I'm thinking of getting rid of is the field research. But unfortunately I got, um, I got two of these that are still mm -hmm. active. So, um, especially these ones where you got to go to places. I think these are Bork. We saw this last episode with the um, going to the south ice cap. This one's going to the northern ice cap, and it didn't seem to work right. So I think I'm going to finish off these two contracts and then probably get rid of this and just do the stock ones where you got to go to a waypoint and do a crew report and that kind of thing. But anyway, what I really want to take a look at, here we are, is... These Coast Guard ones, Rescue, Colonel, Tannard, Kerman, Colonel, Tannard, Kerman. This is, looks like another sea rescue, isn't it? And my seaplane is nowhere near being ready. Yeah, so I gotta wait for the seaplane on that, so I can't do that. Let's time warp until the next thing that's ready is our min miss encounter. Alright, so here is the Minmus 1. It's on its approach to Minmus. There's Kerbin. You were far, far away. We are there's Kerbin in the moon way back there. And here comes Minmus. We are only a few minutes away from entering into its sphere of influence. But what we need to do is we need to get our uh, maneuver node burning program into this, so. Oh, it might not have the room because it might still have the descend. Oh, maybe it does. List? No, it still has the ascend. Pro I hate how it doesn't give you any kind of a message that this didn't get copied. Like, there was no message saying insufficient space. So we got to delete, ascend. Oh, I keep forgetting. Delete path. <laughs> ascend. That program clearly isn't necessary anymore. And then copy path. There we go. And now list. Yay, we got our X-Men program. Okay, so that's going to be there to do the burn. Whoops. Let's uh, close this, and we do have a contract here. Contracts are da dun dun dun. Min miss one. There it is. Right. So just to remind people what we are doing, because it was a few episodes ago we launched this thing. Um, is this thing is gonna do a flyby of Min miss, get into low space about Min miss, but then it needs to keep blowing by and get out and get into high space about the sun. And in order to do that, our current path, just to show it to you, isn't quite going to get us out far enough. So we're going to need to perform a burn at periapsis with Minmus in order to accomplish that. My better plan would have been to do the entire burn uh, at when we were really close to Kerbin. We could have, that would have been the most efficient thing. But uh, I didn't plan it well enough. Either way, with 591 meters per second still left in the vehicle, um, it ain't going to be a problem. So we are now approaching Minmus. Let's zoom in on Minmus here. And as I recall, I think our approach is a little bit close. Yeah, our periapsis is just 2.4 kilometers. That's, that's a little tight. We might end up... I don't want to come that close to the surface. So what we're going to do is, you know, as far as, yeah, the plane of it's nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to push onto radially out. That's radially in. There we are. And we're just going to just, shouldn't be much. Just 
push this out to about 10 kilometers. Beautiful. Okay, now what we need to do next is set up a maneuver right here at Periapsis. And this maneuver, this burn is going to be what put, kicks us out towards the sun. So, what is this? Set? It shouldn't be. Interesting. Step up the amount of this burn bit. Why is that affecting things? I am very, very confused as to why. That's having the effect that it has. I would think a prograde burn here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, that's not having the effect I would have thought it would have had. That's getting me a capture, which of course I don't want. Wow, isn't that interesting? Okay, let's put this back to zero. Okay, I did not think this out very well. Okay, put it back to zero. So, this is not doing what I want it to do. Yeah. Okay, okay. I should have done this. Well, let's see. We got a lot of delta V. What if we do the burns in different directions? Not exactly efficient, but efficiency isn't the issue here. So if I do, I want to see which one starts. This is just radial? Radial is what does it. Okay. I guess this does make sense. It's just the gravity of Minmus is so minor. Radial in is burning in this direction. So if you're looking at this trajectory, kind of my orbit after Minmus, I'm just burning out this way and kind of not using Minmus really at all. So I screwed this up. I should have done the entire burn while I was around um, at when I was close to Kerbin and set this up so I was escaping. I just didn't notice it. Thankfully, I do have... I've got a lot of delta V left. Uh, this should, I don't know, should I, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do this burn. We'll see what we get when we get out of here. So this feels funny. Oh, one thing, I should be paying attention to this. This is our first craft in Minmus's sphere of influence. We should, Minmus one, data. Yes, we are collecting data. So we're doing a telemetry report. Um, in Minmus space, uh, there's a high space and a low space, but no biomes. And then we're doing a light experiment. Again, I think that is not biome specific, but that should, um, get us some science being transmitted back too. Closing in here. It feels really funny what we're doing. Oh, we just went into low space. Hopefully we'll have enough time to gather and transmit all of this stuff. Well, the telemetry report gets gathered super quickly, doesn't it? Is it done gathering? Telemetry, oh, they're both done. So they just have to transmit. So I, I yeah, time is not an issue. It can transmit them on the way back out. That is good. Okay, let's get a little closer. This feels like such a funky burn. <laughs> Burning straight down at the at Minmus. Alright. Get ready to do her here. There it is. Two, one, go. No, I'm not trying to crash into the planet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just went over. Actually, I'm very confused why 
Why did that little switch just happen? That was funny. Oh, I guess, yeah, on the other side of the straight down line. All right, just about done. There we go. Burn is complete. And looks like we got an exit coming up in a little over 10 days. But what I really want to see, let's add him in as we're going to be leaving Minmus's sphere of influence. And I'm really not going to be confident about this until I'm outside of Minmus's sphere of influence. So we'll follow this until that point. Get ourselves ready to. There we go. We are in a slightly inclined orbit. All right, let's time warp. Actually, let's put this on free. I always find it looks better on free. Let's start time warping. Oh, we are really, what's our periapsis at? Oh God, our periapsis went down to two kilometers with that little stunt. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, uh, this was not smart. I really think I might have screwed this up. Burn. Oh my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not even a decent explosion just somehow disappeared straight into Minmus. So I completely botched that. Well, we will obviously have to push another Minmus 1 into the building queue and give this contract another go. There was clearly nothing wrong with the vessel. That was clearly an issue with execution. Oh, let's just get ourselves back to the space center and put this behind us. Well, despite the sadness of that, I do now have just over 49 science. Let's take a look here and see what we can do. And there is one node in particular. I mean, there's this down here, Gizmos. That's 45. I do get a relay antenna out of that and some lights bigger batteries and a fuel cell some other things radiators I don't know if I have but what I'm really looking at is right here is medium re-entry pods and for 45 science I get the P re-entry pod which is of course very similar to the onion except that it can has a crew capacity of two and I think to me that would be a logical thing I got hopefully bigger boosters coming up soon now you might be wondering, some people, where where are the uh, regular ones we're used to? The stock, like, th well, this is from the Making History DLC. But the other re-entry pods are down, up. Oh, they're up here. So, for instance, here's Simple Command Capsules, 90. I'm not going to afford that, but there's the Mark I Command Pod. And then down here, I, can, I have to upgrade the uh, Research and Development before I can get this way. There is the, again, with Making History, the Mark II and then the mark three right there um so those are the kind of the deluxe <laughs> command pods they're more expensive and i'll be going down that race way certainly in the future but right now that's kind of where i'm looking at so i can get more more kerbals don't have to send them up by themselves i think i think that's a worthwhile purchase so that's going to take five and a half days to research Rescue climbers. Oh my gosh. That's of course what we got to do right now. We have not a lot of time. All right. So. We got to rescue two climbers. We have to load on your Coast Guard Rescue Officer Ensign Joe Kerman. So, our VTOL rescue, we will launch. Uh, our, we'll remove Bill. He really wants to get in there, but of course, Valentina's going to fly. And our rescue officer, oh my gosh, Bob wants to get in there. 
<laughs> we need what's this J ensign joe kerman there he is ensign joe kerman is now aboard all right let's go see if we can get ourselves some climbers all right so here we are we have valentina in the cockpit we'll open that up so we can see her and ensign joe should be back seat here other side I always get the wrong side there he is snug as a bug <laughs> it is a tight fit but at least this time compared to the seaplane he actually is fit he's not poking out so that's good uh, changes I've made the only real change I've made since you last saw me and I you've seen this a lot as I was in testing it is um, the addition of this fin I had some issues when it would yaw back and forth I would tend to go out of control, so I'm hoping this will just add act as a bit of a stabilizer. Uh, I also have parachutes on. I gotta remember that that's my failsafe. I can use that now. If uh, worse comes to, I'm gonna give myself permission to quick save. Uh, normally, I don't do this. Usually, I just go with what. But the, these VTOLs are such sketchy vehicles so i'm going to give myself permission to do that okay let's bring up our contracts so our mission here is the vtol rescue put that up and we got to go get our two kerbals out here uh verbri kerman and orlin kerman and we also have to return joe ensign joe kerman um who we already have aboard so that should be ready to go and we're going to be using our kos script there we go. Close that. We have a hover script, which you've seen me play on and off with in the past. Uh, let's copy that over. A hover AG is what it's called. But this is the first time. Oh, I had an O instead of zero. <laughs> Run, hover, hover, eg, boom. And this is the first time that um, you see me though using it outside of simulation or sandbox mode. So if I'm sounding a little nervous, it's because I am nervous. So that's why I'm gonna quick save again. <laughs> so let's uh, start up our engine. There we go. So we got that. We have action groups here to control our throttle also I have an action group I'm pretty sure it's three yes with three I can uh, change what's in con what's the control point I think I'm gonna keep it on the cockpit for now it's control from the cockpit and actually let's cue crew reports because we get ourselves in over the mountains here well that's a little why is that one in the air One thing at a time, one thing at a time. That's a little bit disconcerting, isn't it? Okay. Uh, well, whatever. Let's uh, open up our waypoint manager. There we are. We're going a K2 summit search. That's where we're heading off. That's even further in the air. All right. Well, whatever. That's the general direction we're going to be heading off in. So, SAS on. And uh, nine to get ourselves into hover mode. So nine is hover mode. Oh, why is that full throttle? Oh, it's just a second. Kill throttle. Why is hover mode... Okay, we'll get up here. But hover mode should definitely not be full throttle. Uh, let's decrease throttle. Okay, kill engines again. Hover mode. Okay, there's no way that's right. Whoa, 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 what'd I do? Okay, this is why I quit saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why? I thought I'd worked out every frickin' bug. Oh, the cockpit! Oh my gosh, that's why it's being so weird, because of the cockpit orientation. Okay, we gotta put the cockpit orientation. That's what's going on. Okay, now run. Oh no, now I can engage my engines. Okay. It's the cockpit, it was calcul- oh my gosh. 
Makes perfect sense. Uh, let's see. Engage engines. There we go. Nine. Haha, <laughs> now the throttle is something normal. Okay. Let's give a little bit of upness to it, too. Okay, it had to do with the orientation of the cockpit. That now makes 100% sense because... Let's let this thing take off and then I'll explain it. There we go. You're lifting up. Let's just keep going straight up for a little while. Okay, this thing is... Oops, twist just towards west. This thing is programmed to calculate how much extra thrust to give. Let's get back to hover mode. About how much extra thrust to give to compensate for going on an angle like I am right now. But of course it completely messes up that calculation if it's using... It, it was assuming a vertical orientation for the control point and of course the cockpit has a horizontal orientation and it was completely messing up that calculation. So let's, let's really try and get over there quickly. Just watching my vertical speed, five again, and I'm not touching it. I think I'm pointing night. I like the way it's pointing. I want to keep that vertical speed. It's starting to decrease. I don't want it to decrease too much. And I'm still going up. But I'm not sure as to the, okay, so that's Orlin. And that's Verbri. Another quick save. Jeez, I've used up about a third of my fuel. I'm yet to pick anybody up. It's going to be tight. He can't be on the side of that. Rest our... Oh, 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 we have found somebody. Oh, 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 this waypoint just moved. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see where you, okay, just wait. Nine, hover, 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 hover. Okay. Gear. Let's see where he is. He's on the top. Oh my golly. Okay, let's, let's arrest this. Come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Six, six, six. I'm going down way too fast. Whoa, why are we going down so quickly? Come on. Get away from that mountainside, Valentina. Get away. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I don't like this because... Okay, okay, we've we survived that, but we're going like way down. We're full thrust. Oh my gosh, this is... Okay, this is going to waste way too much fuel, so I'm going to quick save back. So what happened last time? Full throttle. Come on, six there. Full throttle. This is exactly what happened last time. Again. Why is that happening? Oh, it could be the thinness of the air. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Absolutely, because I'm getting less performance out of these engines with the thin air. Oh my gosh, that is exactly what's going on. Full throttle, but going down. Let's get over there. Let's see if we can just get on it. Yep. Uh, and it's probably, especially as my speed goes down. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a full thrust. Well, we're, 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 we're kind of there, but... <laughs> We, oh, that's a lake. I can see him. He's right there. Oh, wow. That's an issue. Especially as they lose speed. That is the issue. We lose speed. There's less air going through the engines. They're less efficient. Dang. This might not be the bet. What? Oh. I might need to use the parachutes here. But that's why it stalls right at the top, because I reduce my speed, getting ready to come down, and then without the air going into those engines...
Sorry if I'm not talking, but I'm crazy concentrating. <laughs> Let's throttle. Okay, we're reducing speed. Our descent speed is not terrible at all, and I think... I don't know if I'm coming off to the side here a little bit. I can use my engines to just direct a little the major design oversight here. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get the other Kerbal. Some retro rockets would be nice. But of course, I have only hours to rescue these folks, and going back and redesigning this with Kerbal construction time will mean that this won't get them. Make sure you're over that cliff. Bring that back. Over it. Gotta keep that, that speed. Oh shit, I'm on this. <laughs> okay, heard that, heard that in. Yeah. Heard that in. North rest. Heard that in. Heard it in. Come on, get that. Yep, yep, north rest. We're down. We're down and nothing broke. Oh my lord. We're And we're pretty darn close. There he is. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't think I can repack parachutes or anything like that. Come on, Orlin. How the heck did you ever get yourself up here anyway? So we'll get him into the empty seat. This is maybe the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> okay, bored. Board, he's in. Okay. So Orlin is in. Everything is good. Close that. Obviously, good time for a quick save. Oh shoot, I forgot. Ah. Can you repack shoots? Sorry, let's let's open this up again. I don't think so. Orlin's a scientist, okay. Orlin, let's in Joe is a pilot, but I don't think, uh, let's, how do you leave the seat, oh, that was very graceful, Orlin, but I doubt very much he can repack the chute, uh, insufficient, you need an engineer with a skill level of one, which clearly, uh, we do not have, so, the parachutes were a one-shot deal, I was sort of expecting that. Okay, where do we have to go? That way. Uh, let's see, do we have a waypoint? Summit search. Where is that waypoint? It's way over that way, so actually that's not particularly useful, is it? Alright, we are definitely quick saving. That looks pretty close to due south. So I'm ignoring this waypoint that's on the nav ball. This program is still active, right? I think it is. I don't know, let's see. If I hit nine. Yep. Six. Okay, we're gonna go due south. Got it. You barely get off the ground. The engines are so... Okay, let's just not tilt or anything until... Like, I'm almost at full thrust south. South is this way. Alright. Okay, we're on our way. We're on our way. Oh, my lord. Now, my fuel reserves are really depressing. Okay. 
Vertical speed, vertical speed, let's bring it down. Now this is a lower altitude, maybe it'll be easier. We still have to get back to the runway, don't forget. Um, is he in the frickin' air? Are you, are you joking me, because... No, he's there! I see him in the air! I can see him. Oh, whoa! Oh, now he's down there! Oh my gosh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, let's, let's quick save. Or revert back. Oh, what the heck? That was completely unfair. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time, but this might be now permaborked. Uh, ready, 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 ready for full throttle. Ah, uh, this isn't gonna work. Spam that Z button. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way. Okay, um, so because this thing is reverting back on top of this mountain, I don't think I have any way to get... Where is he, by the way? There he is. Dang, dang, dang. I don't think I have a way to get Verbri. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to... How on earth can this be easy? <laughs> I am going to... Eat the loss on this one. I'm going to recover from here. I'm going to eat the loss on the failure of this contract with this minus 75 reputation. That is going to be a hit. But I'm going to give myself Orlin as a scientist and call that a win. I think that might be a fair compromise and I'm sorry Verbri, I think we're gonna have to leave you up there at the top of your mountain. Okay, so that's our VTOL. I don't think we'll ever see that again. And there's Orlin, ready for his next assignment. Yeah, that's what happened last time with the seaplane mission and then they didn't end up in the astronaut complex. Well, let's check out the astronaut complex anyway. And now Orlin's here, isn't that wild? So I'm definitely supposed to recover these people. I'm not convinced then that these guys were supposed to be an engineer and a pilot. Maybe I'll put them both back to pilots. Oh, Verbri's still here, of course. Gotta deal with that. Oh my god, I could cheat. Oh my gosh! He spawned. I could recover him. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you know what? Okay, I'm still going to eat that contract loss, but I'm going to recover Verbri, and I think I'm going to be done with these, um... I think that's the last of these Coast Guard contracts. I think I'm going to call it. Can I recover him? Let me do that. Oh, no, I'm going out to him. Uh-oh, that might have been a mistake. No, no. Oh, no, because wasn't he in the air? Wait, he's got... Wait, wait, wait. Uh. <laughs> Okay, he's on the ground. I thought he was going to materialize in the air. Now, what is Verbri? Oh, Verbri's a female. Another pilot. All right. I'm going to just recover Verbri. We're calling it. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Oh, I'm such a bastard. <laughs> All right. I don't care if that's kosher or not. We're, we're, yeah. Verbri's ready for her next assignment. So Verbri is a pilot, so more pilots. I'm not convinced now Colonel Valley and Lieutenant Dan were scientists and engineers. Now I'm going to have to get into the persistence file and take a look at this contract and see again. But I might switch them back to being pilots. So I'll have an army of pilots. I'll have... Yeah, this... Orlin's a legit scientist. 
We'll see. <laughs> but I think I'm good for Kerbals now. I think I'm going to just stop with these sea rescue contracts. I'm going to live with the Kerbals that I have. What I'm going to do with them, I think you're going to have to wait until future episodes. So in the meantime, I thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.